So Boogie2988, I think, is a pretty good representation of what is wrong in Magic the Gathering. You know, I sound like an old dinosaur because I am. I'm 37. I've recently turned 37 and been playing Magic since I was 5 or 4. My first pack of Magic cards was a beta pack at a flea market. And I remember getting Norvin Paladin, which is a card that was recently pulled by Meat Canyon. So brings me back really good memories. And I, I would say that a lot of things have changed in Magic, but that would be an understatement. We now have Mythics, Planeswalkers, we have multiple types of booster packs for multi multiple classes, right? Class Warfare. We always talk about racism and sexism and gender identification, but what about class warfare? It seems that the rich are getting richer every day and the poor are getting poorer. So uh, I don't see no one talking about that social justice. Anyway, that's neither here nor there, so we'll leave it that for the other channel. If you want to discuss something more political. Uh, Boogie lied about having cancer. Uh, this is after scamming his audience of being paid $10,000 to scam his audience with a crypto coin. And the reason he had to scam his audience was because he had lied about or he had cancer. And he had very expensive medical treatments that he needed to do due to cancer. Now, we, we all have loved ones. I think cancer has affected everyone. Um, I mean... I've had family members with cancer, I'm sure that most of you have, who maybe they're still living today, which is great, but many of them may have passed away due to cancer. Cancer is something that we can all agree is one of the worst things in humankind. So to, to lie about cancer is really, really critically bad. Now, to lie about anything medical related is really bad. Now, I wish this was the first time in Magic the Gathering history that someone lied about a medical diagnosis. But it's not. There was a guy. His name was the Mana Source. I've made many videos about him. He tried a comeback. I'm actually going to look at his Twitter right now. He loved tweeting to OnlyFans models. That's where all the money went. That's why the OnlyFans mo models love him. Yeah, so this was... His last tweet was June 26, 2023. He was constantly talking about weight, just like Boogie2988. He was a Magic player with a weight problem. So this is what he tweeted. Hey, everyone. In the years leading up to my spinal injury in 2018, I lived an unhealthy life. I ate too much, didn't exercise at all, and didn't think about the long-term effects of either of those decisions. My lifestyle was a burden on myself, my family, friends, and the Mana Source community. So this dude, every other word out of his mouth was the, that mother effing community, right? After doing nothing to address this compounding series of problems, I reached my highest weight ever at 400 pounds. Being so large added unnecessary difficulty to my initial phase of recovery from spinal surgery. 12 months after the procedure, I stopped making videos. It was around this time I experienced the first post-surgical flare-up in my spine. It became painfully obvious that I needed to dedicate all my time and energy of to rehabilitation if I ever wanted to walk normally again. In my time away, I have recovered enough to begin a daily exercise routine. I've lost over 90 pounds with much more to go. I've regained confident use of my legs and back. My digestive issues are largely a thing of the past. My mental health is in a more stable place than it ever had been in years. I have been given a second chance at life, and I look forward to spending an important part of that with all of you, doing what I love. Thank you for your patience, understanding, generosity, i.e. donations, and well wishes these past years. May we all enjoy many more together. New videos up. Thanks for watching, Wedge. He then, in six months, quit. So he was able to do one more pump and dump. And then in six months, he quit Twitter. He quit YouTube. Uh, he's nowhere to be found anymore, which is kind of what Boogie2988 has threatened to do. He's threatened to do that. So we will kind of see 
if he does intend to do this, but I'm, I'm telling you, Magic the Gathering, like, there's nothing wrong with having a job. I have respect if you have a job. It seems like there's so many Magic only fans and Magic uh, MPL members and stream. And yeah, that's really cool for 99.99999% of people. They're not going to do that. They need to work a job and Magic is just a fun hobby. Right? Even me, right? I, magic is just a fun hobby. I, you, this channel maybe makes $100, $200 a month, if that. Okay, you're not making, we don't do sponsorships on this channel. We don't do any of that shit, right? Um, man, like, you gotta, like, love it. Because if the day comes and you don't love it, it's so easy to know it's fake. When I when I look at these OnlyFans mother efforts, right? They're, they're not interested in magic. They don't, you know, like, they have a bathtub. They, they sit on, a, they're the moderator of, of the largest magic Facebook group. They sit in a bathtub, totally naked. And they cover themselves up with a few magic cards. Two for the breasts and one for the downstairs area. That's their idea of magic content, guys. I, I, I joke you not. And then when, they, when you criticize them on it, they send all these white knights to combat you, not knowing that you're going to slaughter them. You're a mother-effing lion. Ryan Allison, who tried to sue me, uh, he didn't get very far, right? Um... He had made multiple threats, which I still have. I screenshotted everything. Maybe we'll do a recap of it. It was a good time. Maybe we'll do a live stream recap of it. That was a really bizarre experience. The guy was a muddy effing idiot. Right? Uh, I mean, he, he didn't even want to spend the money to hire a lawyer. He wrote the legal paper, his work. Like, it was like fill in the blank paperwork, but he couldn't even fill in the blank correctly at the time. So he's the white knight, you know, rallying for this OnlyFans moderator. It's like, why? She's never going to talk to you in real life. You're never going to meet her. Whatever nice things she said to you were only so you could donate money to her. Are you really that stupid? And you're going to attack me, my business, my employees, and you're not going to think I'm going to reciprocate. When I reciprocate, you lost your job, Ryan Allison. You lost your job within, I think, two days since my email. Actually, your boss contacted me said she was on vacation and this was an urgent matter, and then she would resolve it. And I think it was, since that first email contact, it was resolved, you know, in what, two, three days? Right? I mean, you tell me, Ryan, you're the one who lost your job because you made harassments and threats during the time that you should have been mother effing working. That's what you spent your time doing. And I sent all the bad reviews and all the racism, and it's agreed with me, everything, man. You lost a really good boss. I mean, she, I mean, she would have been a great boss for you, Ryan. I don't know what the hell you're doing right now, but maybe somebody tell me because I'm interested. Uh, not in a, in, in a bad way. I, I don't harbor resent. Um, but I'm kind of like, you know, did he ever recover? Like he had changed his name from Ryan Allison to Allison Ryan. All right? I mean, the money effort changed his name every time. And I don't really know. His, his name is probably not even Ryan Allison anymore. I, I guarantee you he's changed it to some ra random name. I would say um, that you got what you deserved. Oh, he is here. MTG Modmin. Oh, wow. I'm blocked, though. So at the 11 e uh, He's still here. That's the dude. Bronze Tier 4. I, I Honestly, I'm going to talk about my adventures in modminship on M Magic Facebook group. So he is here. Wow. I, I, I thought he was not going to show his face again. I'm a Blueprint Certified Community Manager. I don't even know what that means. Oh, here's Ryan. Oh, he's our good friend. Magic the Gathering Group Admin. Oh, yeah. He said he was going to cancel me. How did that work for you, Ryan? Oh, and you got, I mean, oof, we could go to war right now if we wanted to. Just seeing his little face pisses me off, right? Like, why? Why Why do you need... To, like, what, what is the mentality in the Magic the Gathering player where they would... Why would anyone support Boogie? It's beyond my comprehension. The guy still won't sell his Magic cards, which is hilariously bad. Anyway, that's it. Bye, guys.